And then to love somebody else, ask your loved ones about themselves. Everybody like to talk about themselves if there's an ear to listen. And then the older people get, the less ears it is to listen. And I don't care who you are. Like, that's a part of marketing and word to mouth. Word to mouth is just, I know something cool and I want to tell somebody. I want to tell you what I know. Everybody like to talk about themselves if you give them the ear to. So start asking people to tell you about themselves. I told you the other episode, nosy can be good sometimes. But we talk about people who you associated with, who you who who has something to do with your upbringing, your elders or whatever. Just ask them about themselves. Because sometimes you go through life, and especially black people went through life without no type of mental health wasn't even uh, on the radar for the most, uh, ma- the, yes, the majority of our freedom. Like we don't. It wasn't available to us and we weren't even taught to think about it. So sometimes when you ask somebody about themselves and they get to speaking about themselves, that's the first time they thought that thought about themselves. But they needed you to pull that about them because, I mean, why would I even think about that? Well, damn. My dad did used to try to do that. So. Or hold on, what a neighborhood I grew up in, now that I think about it, like just ask somebody to talk about themselves. You can learn about them, but more importantly, they gonna like talking. Everybody likes talking about themselves. Just give somebody that opportunity that may not have that opportunity. Word, always keep that in a buck. And if a nigga test your bloodline, stand for yours. The only thing that matters in this world who wanted more luck. Never not believe in me. That's just how I'm cut. Be a man about your word. Always keep that Buck. And if a nigga test your bloodline, stand for yours. The only thing that matters in this world, who wants it more? Yeah.